after completing a regular circle shape, you come back in the same trace, quarter of a circle, and draw a side line going out of the shape while rotating your wrist to create a twirl effect. Now the camera will continue recording images until I press the shutter button again to stop the process. That's really strong. Yep. The long exposure means that anything moving in the scene will blur or even disappear. This room was full of people during the long exposure, but no one stayed in one place long enough to register on the film. get as a tripod. Lightning really likes tripods and if you're standing next to one in an open field you'll increase your chances of attracting a really close strike. Work with long exposure photography is to use the camera the way that it is. Currently we've got this camera set up at um, ISO 400 and one two hundredth of a second. So we're going to put this camera into aperture priority mode. And that's going to control the shutter speed. We're going to turn the ISO down to as low as we can get it down to 100. Okay. Now our shutter speed is going to adjust automatically. So what happens when we increase our f-stop to say f22. What's going to happen is our exposure is going to uh, become quite long. So let's take a picture here. One tenth of a second. So we're at one tenth of a second and that's with the camera automatically adjusting it. So uh, one tenth of a second is not real slow. Let's see what we can do better. We're going to install a variable neutral density filter. Variable neutral density filter. Lens is a 49 millimeter filter setting. So I have this adapter which will go from 49 millimeters up. We're going to screw that on there. And then in a minute, we're going to screw my uh, 82 millimeter variable neutral density filter. VND. My ISO is set to 50 here. It's calling for one eighth of a second at f 1.8. It's a 1.8 reasonably fast lens. You can see it uh, sort of works. Uh, that is the setting of the lowest. I'm going to crank that puppy up midway. So in theory, that should be about three stops. I'm now at um, one quarter second. You go all the way up the maximum, about six stops. And now, for that same blank wall over there, it's calling for five full seconds of exposure. You can see how this variable neutral density filter 
with the adapter rings is allowing me to increase the exposure time. I'll note that I am in aperture priority mode and I'm just using the camera's computer to determine my exposure. So I can do this somewhat uh, empirically by finding my subject saying, okay, I'd like, you know, that's water moving. I'd like maybe one twentieth of a second up to even two seconds for the water. Those are common settings. And I can just turn this guy around until there I am. I'm at two seconds. Or I'm at half a second just by adjusting the uh, filter. One of the downsides of these filters is occasionally they allow the cast. Now this, uh, this Tiffin seems to be pretty good. Um, and it also has a limited range. It only goes up to six stops. If you're doing a major reduction, uh, you'll have to go to uh, add another filter, different filter. With this uh, particular curved lens, you can't get a regular filter uh, thread in there. Besides, there are no filter uh, rings or filter threads in there to screw in the filter. So we have this specialty, uh, it's a Wyatt product. Um, this particular um, adapter is made to go to the 150, fil 150 uh, millimeter square lens uh, filters and it uh, threads on there and then it uh, tightens. So we put it on here. You notice I'm going to let that sink all the way down to the bottom there. It has to rotate as it goes. That rotation, I presume, will allow it to block the light because the light doesn't like going around the corner. Okay, we got it on there. I'm gently trying to lift it off my lap to make sure it's on there pretty soon, and it is. First, I have the Hyda 10X. Uh, it's 1000X rather. Uh, calls it an ND30, but I suspect it's really uh, 10 stops. Again, 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters square. This Wyatt uh, adapter will allow the use of two of these large rings. Here's the first. And the second. So we've got some serious uh, thing going on. Now, at this point, we are really getting up into the exposure range, which would require more than 30 seconds. And your cameras don't typically allow you to go. Like on this uh, icon here, I'm going to crank it up. Once it goes from 30 seconds, it goes to bulb. So, for bulb, uh, push the button. The uh, lens uh, opens, the shutter opens, and it stays open until I release the button. There are a number of triggers you can use to trigger uh, from a bulb expo uh, exposure. There's the uh, Number of remote ones you can plug in the side. You can uh, use a uh, remote connection like your phone. There's a device called the Pluto trigger. Uh, all those will uh, should allow a bulb function. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this segment. I hope it's been useful and helpful to you. Please comment below uh, on any corrections, which I'm sure there's some. Any other concerns or thoughts? Thanks. So long for now.